Hi, Dennis the Video Guy here. As you know, with this pandemic, I haven't been out and about for I don't know how long. But in June, with COVID cases going down, vaccinations going up, festivals are happening again and people were getting out. And I'm ready to get it back out into the community as well, too. Now, during the last 16 months, I've been working two part-time jobs, one at Jason's Deli and one with WBD and with the early morning shows. Now, those images you saw earlier were of me working through the years at PCCO, leading up to finally getting back behind the camera full-time as a news photographer at Channel 31. And they've been keeping me busy. So I'm just now getting this edition of Out and About for you to enjoy. So, let's go. Actually, I did shoot some footage at the 2021 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Parade and commemorative service back in January. However, it was all held virtual due to the COVID pandemic. Instead of marchers, folks decorated and drove their cars from the Garrett Center at Bradley University to the Emanuel Academy parking lot. Due to sunny skies and wind, the commemorative service was viewed on Facebook with pre-recorded speeches by the keynote, speaker, and award winners. A special tribute was giving in honor of the late C.T. Vivian. Another event on Juneteenth included the unveiling of portraits at the corner of Main Street and Adams Street. The first two honored Dr. Romo B. Garrett, who was the first black professor at Bradley University, and Betty Frieden, who helped inspire the women's movement. Keynote speaker was Mayor Dr. Rita Ali. June 19th was Juneteenth, and we all know what that involved. Mm -hmm. the in Texas in 1865. And now, not only is it a state holiday, but also a new national holiday signed into law by President Biden. One event at John Glenn Park near Carver Center. Lots of vendors, food, a fashion show, and so much more fun. We are a um, preschool program for, for birth to five-year-old children, and we're here signing up children for school today. Also happening in Peoria, vendors set up booths and tents on Garden Street near Jefferson. Sponsored by the Minority Business Alliance, the outdoor marketplace allowed them to showcase their products and services. We train people their Second Amendment rights, uh, how to uh, be responsible and financially and morally uh, carrying a firearm in the state of Illinois. We teach them storage. Um, how to properly handle their firearm and how to clean it and tear it down. 